What's up, fellow journeyers? So we've encountered something here at this campground, and I am legit trying to figure out how to take back control of my RV because something is taking over our RV. Oh, the ants. You see ants? Mm -hmm. Where are they at? Hmm. Oh my goodness. Lots of ants. Look at all those ants, buddy. They're in our bays. They're crawling up our RV on the side. They're in the bathroom. They're in the, our bedroom. They're in Hensley's loft. They're in JJ's room. They're in the kitchen. They're in the living room. They're, they're, they're everywhere. Ants. <laughs> I think somebody said these are sugar ants. LJMJ does eat some sugar. Donuts making me dance. Oh, it's like so doughy. Corey That's said it. it's so good, he'd lick it off I his fingers. Said Brandon, I'd lick it off your fingers. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> what are we going to do with all that chocolate? We're going to have s'mores for a month. There's a small possibility there could be some sugar around here. We think about all these ants taking over our RVs. <laughs> We've never had a problem with ants before. We get asked that question actually quite a bit. People will be like, do you get a lot of ants, a lot of rodents? And we've never had a problem. But I don't know. All of a sudden, they've literally started taking over our RV. This is, they're everywhere. I'm just trying to clean everything. And I mean, no matter how much I clean or scrub, they won't leave. Like you just, you pick something up and there's an ant. It doesn't matter where you go, what you do in here. Like there's <laughs> just... <laughs> It's like scared to go to sleep because she said they're taking over her bed because they're just like crawling along the edges of her bed. I don't know what to do. Like we've never had this problem. And all of a sudden, I don't even know how to get rid of it. It's crazy. And so it started when I opened this bay and I looked and hundreds, if not thousands of ants in this bay. Like they're, they're, they're just, they're just everywhere. I just don't even know. It looks like they're coming up this leg over here and making their way up and just uh you know just having a blast pretty much so, but what we've tried so far which has not worked we got these little ant bait things i put these out they're supposed to eat the bait and they take it back to the colony whatever i don't know i don't know how long it's supposed to take we've been here three nights it's done nothing so far what are your tips this is the tarot the tarot the tarot it's like a ant bait yeah. gel yes like you just twist the lid off and laid in its path and they go in and either eat it okay. or they stay in there and drown and literally i had a path yesterday and it's gone today okay maybe i've got the wrong thing i've got i've got like a white thing i don't know if it's tarot though this is just a clear one okay it's a liquid it's all liquid. is it still outside it's right here Come on. i had a trail okay see, right here okay oh, okay yours is a different one. Oh wow you can see them go Oh, they're still, look at that. Yeah, so they go right in, but this is what, this is what it is. Wow, okay. Does it seem like it's working? Cause they're yeah, because still... they're all going in. But okay. they either eat it and then go back and kill the others, or they get in there and die. All right. But it was a massive line, so it slowed down. I could keep them from coming in, but is it better to like let them come in and get the bait and then go to, back out? Yes, to eliminate or sh or the should I, Or should I cut off their, their trail? I'm just debating if I should even try to cut off the trail or just say, hey, come get the bait and can take it back. Well, sometimes if you do that and divert them from getting to this, then you're just going to have that problem in a different location. Okay. So, so just, just let them okay. deal with it for uh, half a day. And okay. then <laughs> it's creepy because sometimes even more come out okay. and get the bait because they're like, ooh, we like that. And then they, they take it back and okay. then they're usually gone. Okay. Girls, I have a very important question. What? We have ants in our RV. How do you think we should get rid of the ants in our Poison RV? Poison them! Oh, no mercy. No, step on them! Oh my goodness. No, you should kick them out. Kick them out? Do we just tell them to leave? No, you no. lure them out. No. Lure them out? With no. food! With like a flute or what? No, you should just kick them out like this. <laughs> so it's okay, it's, you okay, give so them spankings. You literally, you, you spank them and then kick them out? Yes. <laughs> you give them tiny no. spanks one no. at a time with your finger. Spank, spank, spank. So while we're dealing with the ants, which is actually probably like just a subplot of where we're actually at, we're at the Lippert Getaway at Pine Mountain in Georgia. Now they have a few different tents 
like this. This is the innovation tent. And then they have, I guess it's like the, the merch tent. And then they have the main tent where we meet for meals and get togethers, concerts, all kinds of stuff at the other tent. And then there's other little mini areas spread out. There's like a pavilion over here. Uh, one day the kids, they brought in, um, one of the local places brought in some animals for the kids to check out. Oh, it's like me, it's like... Yeah, that's what happened to the porcupine. Yeah, that's not porcupine, that's a hedgehog. Oh, you're actually right. Yeah. There you go, buddy. That's Good job. Good job, buddy. Yeah. 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 You guys catch the snake? Uh, yes. <laughs> Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it is heavy, isn't it? The kids had a blast at that. So the Lippert Getaway is a Lippert Scout event. This is the second one they've ever done. Uh, they've done one a year so far for two years. Anybody can become a scout. It's free. The best way to get connected and be a Lippert Scout is through their app. This is a pretty big event. I think there's like 120 to 150 RVs here. Lippert has spent six figures, <laughs> put a lot of money, a lot of resources into this. It's really well done. We heard so many great things about last year. We're like, wow, we really want to be involved in that. We really want to be there. Got to do it. Is he going to put this down? Is that one sour? Uh, a warhead? Yeah, he didn't know what he was asking for. You do the warhead. Let me see. Can you do it? I love sour. I haven't had one of these in years. My mouth is like watering thinking about it. Like you know what's coming, you know? Woo! <laughs> Is this one of their new initiatives, Serve? And they're getting feedback all the time on ideas like this. This actually did not exist a year ago. And so yesterday, a ton of people volunteered from this event. And we went and we they split up into like five groups. They, they, they packaged items to give the kids. Good job, JJ. Yeah. We went and cleared trails, we, different areas in the state park that's here close by. <laughs> yeah! Oh, he got it! The nuts and bolts of serve, and one thing that excites us as a family on the road looking for ways to serve is that within the Lippert app, you've of course got, you know, this is a Lippert Scout event that we're currently at. You've now got another icon that says serve, and you click on this and you can see different areas where you can serve as an RVer. Let's say if you it's possible to park your RV there, if it's kid friendly. It's surprisingly difficult <laughs> to find places to serve as a, as a family or as a couple or anything really on the road. And I don't know if you're like us, but if you're traveling around the country, one of the things you want to experience and want to give back with is to serve others. So multiple different areas where people can share their ideas. You got a whiteboard over here with serve, got one with the scouts, uh, favorite events. There's some tech, there's one like some tech ideas or ideas you might have with technology. The scouts are a big part of giving feedback about what they're experiencing in the RV life and what would make RV life better to Lippert. And Lippert does take action with this feedback they're receiving from their scouts. Yeah. I love it. What else? What, what else do you like? Wow, this is super valuable. This is what you're starting to see in the RV world is companies getting feedback on what RVers <laughs> love, don't love, want, love to see change. I mean, it's, it's great for everybody, it really is. Hey, cool dude. Is he munching on chocolate? Where does... He's your child. That's how they get these kids. Hey, listen. I don't know how any of the sugar got in the RV. We never eat any sugar. <laughs> never. Coming on? I'm coming. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Everybody good? We're good. Ready? All righty. Let's go. Woo! Right here? Yeah, that's yeah. it. I think they're eating it. So while we're battling the ants, we actually have an upgrade that is long overdue that we need to do today. So sleep in an RV, actually really sleep anywhere, <laughs> it's a big deal. And I should know because I not only sleep on a regular basis at night, I've shared this before, it's kind of embarrassing, I actually like to take naps as well. Meditation. <laughs> we said people- Marissa gives me a hard time. We're like, when people come to the door and they're like, is Nathan there? I'm like, um, he's meditating. <laughs> because people respect that for some reason you're napping. They're like, oh, he's napping. It's actually very difficult. I have to calm my mind down in the middle of the day. I do a 30 minute nap. I'm oh. telling you, he is the princess in the pee. You have no idea how many pillows and mattresses we've been through. It's like, I just, I, I'm astonished. <laughs> Well, here, here's the scoop on RV mattresses. Every RV we've had, <laughs> we've replaced the mattress. And this one was no different. So we replaced the mattress around two years ago with this. And honestly, probably a year, year and a half in, 
it was starting to just be done. Nathan and I have been fighting over the back massager. We've been waking up being like, our backs are killing us. And finally we're like, it's our mattress. We need to replace the mattress. It's just breaking down. And so we started getting into research phase, okay? Like what is out there? What fits the size of an RV? There has to be someone that makes high quality mattresses, but fit in an RV space. And also as part of the research phase, of course we're asking around, who's gotten a mattress? <laughs> what mattress do you like? They're actually right next to us here at the rally in this alliance, uh, Sean and Christina with Paws for Love. They told us, hey, we bought a mattress from RV Mattress and we have loved it. So phase one, we're gonna get this thing out of here. Get it out. Bed comes in a box, which is what you need for an RV. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Real men open mattresses with their bare hands. <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Oh, wow. oh, wow. I don't know if you know this about Nathan, but Nathan is the research king. And he put hours of research into what mattress we chose. I did not know there were so many YouTube videos about mattresses. We wanted a company that fit in an RV, that was high quality, that shipped to our door, and this is free shipping for this. So this was just the perfect combination of all the things we were looking for. So technical things about this mattress and why we chose it. So this is 70 inches wide by 80 inches long. We went with the signature hybrid mattress. Because we're side sleepers, it recommended medium firmness. And we did the Glacio-Tex cooling cover, which is this top layer that it does feel cool just touching it actually. So, and we, Sean and Christina did it as well and said, look, that's it's a really cool upgrade. You wanna do that. Now, as far as the way this is built, we've got eight inches of springs and memory foam, and then like a quilted layer on top. Oh, wow, this is nice. <laughs> Something I was really nervous about is how do you pick a mattress before you lay on a mattress? Like that was, that was one of my concerns, but they offer a 120 day sleep trial. If you don't like it, you can get rid of it. They'll get you a new one. I think that takes some of the pressure off because a mattress is like a big deal and you want to lay on it. So we're going to get our Betty's bedding on this and try it out and really like we can't just lay on it one time and say, oh, it's good to go. So we'll, we'll get back to you in another video and we'll let you know after sleeping on it for a while, for a few weeks at least, how it's done. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so excited. <laughs> so last night, Marissa and I got the kids in the bed and uh, we were trying to sleep. <laughs> I was laying there reading, winding down. Everybody's been doing like their fireside stuff like after 9 p.m. And I'm like, I'm going to bed. If you started after nine, count me out. So the fire over here at Christina's and Sean's started after 9 p.m. And I didn't go out there. And I'm like, I'm not going out there. And I was like, I'm in bed. I'm not getting out of bed and gonna go to the fire at this point. Well, you'll recognize these guys, Corey and Finding Our Someday right here. They'd also shown up that day and we have not seen them in forever. Look who's next to us, Hensley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you guys are here. So I guess Corey did not like it that I wasn't at the fire and he came out. We'll see how high we are off the ground and our rig can shake pretty bad anyways. Well, he came out and like pushed on the rig. So it's like almost 10 o'clock at night. Our kids are asleep, I'm trying to sleep. The rig is shaking like crazy. And if you RV, you know this. If your RV starts to shake violently, your first thought, especially if you have your awning out, which I did, is oh my goodness, the awnings. So I jumped out of bed, ran to the controls for the awning and then realized, wait a minute, there was not supposed to be any wind. There's no way even wind would be shaking my RV as bad as what just happened and yeah, Corey had left the fire, shook the rig like crazy, and then ran back to the fire and pretended like nothing was going on. But I, I knew who did it. So I've got a gift for Corey. Because everybody loves another mattress. <laughs> it's, it's Corey's mattress. <laughs> Look, it's the gift that keeps on giving, man. What are you doing? <laughs> is this, oh, is this, okay, this is your mattress. Yeah, I got you a mattress. You're good to go. Have fun with that. I don't even know where the dumpsters are at around here. Okay, so Corey gave me just, uh, which I'm pretty sure this is what's being used in the other trap I was given by Josh, the tarot ant killer. 
He's just basically got the, the liquid, so. But Josh did say if you're gonna use this, you really wanna put them on something like wax paper because it'll just soak into uh, cardboard or paper. So, got some wax paper. I'm gonna keep adding this to multiple spots. I'm really curious if this is gonna make a difference by tomorrow, like some other people have said. Oh, wow. This is kind of what's happened since last time I was uh, in there. And all this is where I just got mad and I just sprayed a whole bunch of uh, my spray bottle with a Dawn water combo. I just sprayed this whole area, but they are, uh, wow. They're up and at it right now. My goodness, this thing looks full. They are going to town inside this thing. They really like this tarot bait. Some taro. there's a corner spot, right? Come and get it. Oh yeah, there they go. Still a lot of ants. Yep, nope. that's a lot of ants. Man, they are going to town on this tarot stuff. I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh... good morning, buddy. Did you sleep okay with Tuffy? Did it yeah. keep you safe? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's been about I don't know, 36 hours. I don't know. Maybe it's slowed down a little bit. They're definitely still moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Here you go. Give him some more of this. They're still going to town inside this thing. They're still definitely over here too. But I am gonna say at least, seems like <laughs> there's not as many as there was before. So I do think the tarot is working outside, but I think it just takes, it's not instant like some of the other things we've heard about. Uh, I'm gonna start phase two of this because at least 75 plus percent, maybe even more of the ants inside the rig seem to not be inside the rig anymore. This is the activity still in the bay, so there is some activity going on in the bay a little bit. But the activity on the leg has definitely slowed down. So phase two is cleanup. It's phase one. I put out the tarot. I've given them two-ish days to eat that take it back to the colony and whatnot. Phase two is I come in after I can tell it's slow down, I'm cleaning up what I can. And then phase three is, uh, there's lots of different ways to do phase three. So Dale and Angela gave me uh, this, the ortho, and then Jim from Clean Tank, K-L-E-E-N Tank. Um, if you're ever at a rally, he's at a ton of rallies. Uh, you can look him up, he'll come, he'll clean your tank and give you some tips about keeping your gray and black tanks clean. Uh, but he gave me some diatomaceous earth. I think either one will work, but I'm gonna go with this one. So had I known there were this many ants around here, I would've done this with the ortho to start with. But uh, now that I know, and now that I've cleaned it up, <laughs> I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna put this around every single surface around the RV that's touching the ground. Now everything we've shown in this video is linked to in the description below. And on top of that, if you're looking for a mattress that we believe is the best bang for your buck when it comes to comfort, quality, and just flexibility when it comes to the different sizes they have for installs, we've been given a 20% discount code we can share with you. Just go to rvmattress.com slash lessjunkmorejourney and use the code lessjunkmorejourney. Well, that is our journey for today. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later. This feels really wrong, actually. Yeah, this yeah, is happening. They have like over Where's my phone? <laughs> oh. You can like tie it to the top of your RV and then just get it out and you get to your site. Oh yeah, this could go on the roof. That'd be pretty cool. Roof take, yeah, yeah, take naps up there. Romance. <laughs> 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 we need to give them a moment. <laughs> yeah, I need a TV out here. Get a room. Yeah. yeah.